Welcome back to the Vodacom Mandeville Indoor Center where the 2020 Super Sport Wheelchair Basketball is uh, alive and well. And uh, we're into game number four, which is about to happen. Three very, very good games so far. And uh, just as a quick reminder, only four teams participating in a very condensed um, series. So let's have a look at the previous winners. And what really is important here is look at line number three, the Lions. They've held this trophy now for four years running, 2016 all the way through to 19. Unfortunately, the Lions aren't participating by choice, so they definitely won't be. And uh, here is the format for the competition. It's held over three days. It's a round robin initially, and then it'll be literally playoffs and then final and then uh, playoff for third and fourth. We have got the teams just lining up on the court at the moment. And just in case you didn't know, Kevin Smith will take you through the basis of the player points. Now, so you see in the uh, third paragraph there, it's uh, how you are rated uh, on your disability as well as your ability in the chair, depending on how you are strapped in and all those sort of things. And each, uh, class each uh, classified uh, player, they have a non-court classifier making sure that they are maintaining that. And the key there is to make sure that everybody gets a chance, regardless of the level of your ability or disability, whichever you like. Here are the results so far today. It was a very good win for the Eagles, 59-30. Uh, they would love to improve on their shooting because that, co that score could have been a whole lot bigger, but uh, they'll settle for that 59-30 over the Mavericks. So coming up, it is the Buffalo City Metro Suns, and they're up against the Koloska All-Stars. This should be a very competitive game because on paper, they're probably pretty well matched. Here we have the lineup for the uh, Koloska All-Stars. A really powerful side, and uh, two real old walk. Uh, war horses there in the, in, the, in the like of Ralph Williams and uh, Shane Williams. Um, really, really strong uh, players, but they'll be backed up by uh, Odinga Mandingi and uh, Rakit Singh Moleti. Then the Buffalo City Metro Suns, also a fairly uh, strong uh, lineup, a uh, bit limited, but uh, you've got uh, Ayabonga Jim, Tulani Sapoyo, and the main little general there is Mzeleni at number seven. These are the match officials for today. It's uh, Adam Maroki, Haile Bolkulani, she's on the left, and Chevodaki. <laughs> Teams getting themselves all G'd up now. They know that uh, we are starting to get to a situation where it will determine who plays who in the playoffs, and that's going to be very key because the, uh, the nature of this tournament Restricted to four teams in the round robin. It's anybody's uh, game there for the taking. There's the coach of Buffalo City. Good job he's done as well. And kit in a, the team kitted in a very, very distinctive outfit. And James Matetwa, he will be the coach of the Kalaska All-Stars. Again, a rising coach. He's done a very good job. It's the Kaloska All-Stars up against the Buffalo City Metro Suns. That's Rakuteng Moletti putting up the first shot for the Kaloska All-Stars, not uh, converting it. That's well, Ruba. Good ball carrier, normally use him to uh, bring the ball up. But possession now goes to the uh, Metro Suns. And it is the Metro Suns who are playing in the goldish, yellowish outfits. Very, very distinctive. And they're playing left to right, and here they come. The opposition right to left, the Koloska All-Stars. They're in the white with the yellow trim. Yeah, first foul of the match uh, committed by the Buffalo City Metro Suns.
that was Mzeleni who committed that foul. So no quick baskets to get this game underway. Almost a minute gone. I'm still waiting for that scoreboard to start ticking. Strong defense from the Suns. Yeah, this is Shane Williams. Now the Suns uh, need to be careful. That's the second uh, foul they've just uh, picked up. Yeah, the Suns have come out quite physical so far. They realize that if they're going to take these uh, tougher teams, they're going to have to be not as gentle as perhaps they've been. And yeah, all the Metro Suns. Well, that might have been a pass, or let's hope it was a pass. Shane Williams normally very good with the shooting, but uh, just needs to settle today. Some nice open play coming in from the Buffalo City Metro Suns, and that basket is going to count. Yalezo, excellent basket uh, from him. Yalezo just did so well there, Kevin. He saw that gap, very mobile, and uh, drew a foul as well, which is important. Now he's got the opportunity to take that extra point. Yeah, that's it. So he's fouled in the process of shooting. Basket counts. And take that, sports lovers. What were you doing last evening? Daniel Ezu. In the points allocation, he's a 3.5 pointer. He's an amputee. Clearly some practice there. Wonderful free shot from Yalezo to open this encounter. Is that... Uh, Perhaps a three-second violation. Or yeah, I think it was a three-second violation. Only allowed three seconds in that blue area under the basket. And here is the little wizard, Mac Imzelani, as he's known. Controls the ball, controls the troops. And a very influential player, but he's going to have to get rid of that ball because it's a strong defense from the All-Stars. And that clock, she is ticking. Shot had to go up. Yeah, good effort there coming from uh, Yelezo to try and uh, stop the ball going out. He's got a real turn of speed. Well, so far, it's very early days, Kevin, but what the... Suns have done so well is they've not allowed the Colosco All-Stars to settle. There's no pattern of play. There's a long shot coming up from Shane Williams. Not dropping. Good rebound taken. So key to get under that basket and retrieve the rebounds when the opposition have shot and not scored. I have Olga Jim at number 11. He was doing very well. Sapoyo's shot going wayward. Well, it was nearly intercepted, but here is Shane Williams flicking it through. Yeah, one of the players is going out. Uh, Ralph Williams, it looks like, went out to the uh, backcourt. Can't do that. And come back in and play the ball. Aya Bongajim just leaving it. For Imzelini. Imzelini, top of the key, takes his time and very short. That's unusual. Now, very unusual for him. He normally uh, puts him in with his eyes closed from up there. Wow, nearly a steal on Ralph Williams. But yep. all good so far. Yeah, it's Yalezo who's been all over the court today. Well, that was a very good pass and a very good finish, too. Odinga Madingi, star man from yesterday. And uh, if there were man of the match in this particular tournament, he would have definitely taken the crown yesterday. But there will be a man of the series, a player of the series will be announced at the end. But under the circumstances and for logistics and all the COVID protocol, there will be no man of the match awards avoiding unnecessary contact and just maintaining social distance between officials and players and I have to say and repeat it that the protocol here at the Vodacom Mandeville Indoor Centre has been excellent 
I yeah. basically went for a full medical before yesterday's uh, game started and uh, very impressed. <laughs> Ralph Williams to put the ball in for the All-Stars. Shane Williams putting up the shot but uh, being checked and looks like he was fouled in the process. Yeah, he was, so he'll get uh, two free shots. shots to come. the guilty party. And this man is normally very reliable. Got a very, very solid... Uh, Average from the free throw line, so that was the sighter. Suggest this one might drop. So Shane Williams missed uh, those two, but uh, Moletti, who took the rebound, put the shot up. He was fouled in the process, so he'll I, get two free shots. I suspect we'll be seeing a lot more of this man. Dangerous player. That's how you do it, showing his teammate. Now, this is how you do it. You just flick that wrist, you follow through from the elbow, and give it a little bit of air, some accuracy. Yeah, stolen by Ayabonga Jim. Well done by him. Very well done by Ayabonga Jim. A little juggler. Foul committed there by the All Stars. So Dinga Mandingi. And the Suns need to be careful because they are now sitting on uh, collective fouls for this quarter. So any foul that they commit now will be two shots. And Kevin, there are still six minutes left. That's it. They've uh, really racked up the fouls early in this quarter. So the Sun's doing all the business at the moment in the Kaloska All-Stars looking a little bit at sea. Yeah, we saw them a better performance from the All-Stars uh, yesterday. Let's see if they can pick it up. Ralph Williams getting yeah. the pass from uh, Shane Williams. Yeah, there was a flashback to days of yore. Ralph Williams still doing the business and here are the Suns. Ayabonga Jim, fabulous attempt. Trying to use the glass, but just overshooting. And maybe we need to see a, some more ambition from some of these players on those long shots. And this is the little general, Imzeleni. He always uh, remains cool, calm and collected, does Imzeleni. Imzeleni looking for the shot himself. And just shooting short, one wonders, just needs a little bit of adjustment. He's uh, shot on a couple of occasions now, but just a little short. And is that a timeout that we're hearing? Or just a... That looks like it's just a substitute. Yeah, just a substitution. And Pumel has come off. Zruba. Right hand side. That's Moletti. This is going to be an attempt from Rakhat Singh Moletti. What an attempt. Good to see. That's that's the power of Moletti. Yeah. He can rip you apart. Excellent play, and he didn't even come up to his uh, screen. He stayed about a meter away. I think he's uh... well, Imzelini was, did, uh, was trying to chase that down, but uh, it was Maletti at the end of the day who just thundered through and another two very quick points for the All-Stars. So the Suns have got some work to do now. They cannot let this Kaloska All-Stars get too far ahead. And the All-Stars uh, defense is actually uh, holding up pretty well. Yeah. 
So just a quick chat between table and match official. There's obviously something that either needs some clarity or problem has been fixed, whatever it was. So Mzeleni really controls the play well for the Suns. And chose not to shoot. Probably the right choice and a very, very smart move there. Yeah, allowing Justin Williams just to sneak through into the key and take those two points. Shane Williams putting up the long shot for the Kaloska All-Stars. A lot of pressure on the All-Stars. Pressing the Suns, doing a full court press. Just trying to upset their pattern. Got a break through there. That really should have been two points. And well, it is two points. Finally, there was a second bite at the cherry. And uh, certainly, without any shadow of a doubt, Justin Williams will be relieved because he knows that he should have popped that down. But somebody was there to pick up the pieces and yeah. take the two. So yeah, we're that, back within two. That man was Yelezo. Shane Williams, to his namesake, Ralph Williams. Uh, very flat, that was never going to go down. The Suns have adjusted uh, very quickly to the uh, full court press by the All Stars. Should have put the shot up instead Definitely. of making that pass, three second violation. Definitely should have put that shot up. He was in the right place at the right time. No excuses not to shoot. Timeout has been called this time. Twice, twice the young man, Williams, the got in a key in the paint. So he's in the heart of the key. That's an embarrassment for us. That is the heart of the key there. It's an embarrassment for us. Let me tell you, don't allow that. Okay? All right. You rather commit a foul here for the side ball before he breaks in. Okay? Send him to the sideline. Rather commit a foul here for the side ball. And we regroup, get the defense intact. Okay? The problem is that you start spinning like this. Then you don't see what happens on your back. Don't spin the chair, please. All right? Turn to the side here. Yeah? You can see you turn to the other side. Use your pivoting then spinning around. All right? Think about it. The minute you spin around like this, you've lost sight. Okay? Please pay attention on that, okay? Let us bury our shots. Okay? Let us release the big guys down there in order to break to the key. Oji needs to get to the key. Shane, try and get to the key much more often. I can see the shot is out. He's not there yet. Okay, so play inside, break inside. All right, until you get, until you build your game, they are going to start shooting. All stars. That's coach uh, Matetwa. And he knows that the sides are very, very evenly matched and uh, without any shadow of a doubt, he wants the all stars to keep the pressure on the Buffalo City Metro Suns. And he's quite right, you know, he's telling the players not to spin so much, but the man with the ball at the moment, Moletti, who's just passed, he spins a, a great deal. That's sort of one of his trademarks, but um, but he's, he's quite right because you're turning your back on, on the game. So two shots there from the All-Stars, none of them dipping, and a little bit of a fumble. Ball is out of play. Yeah, still the Stars to put the ball in from the back line. Stars just moving the ball around the key. Shot needs to go up. Shot was up in time. And the game will just go on now. That Hooter is just simply to say your 30 seconds had lapsed. I and bomb Jim doing great comes, work. Yeah, he's done some fabulous work. He's a great player. Just Did, couldn't finish it off. Will he get a third bite? Three bites at the cherry. No. He's not going to be very happy with that. And uh, it becomes a little bit like a golf swing, as we've decided over the years. 
you try and overcorrect and you just can't seem to get it right. Just best to leave that for a while. Sure, Come back and, and start all over again. In and out there for uh, no, Ruba. This is Mzeleni controlling for the Suns. Always looking. He's got great control of the ball and he's just watching, considering the options. Best man in the best place. And this is Mzeleni with a great follow through. He distributed the ball and then just kept going. Got it back. Almost a 1 2. He yeah, took it off the glass. He's not going to miss too many of those. Very talented, very gifted player. Good temperament for the game. Ralph Williams decides not to shoot. Gives it as big a part. That was Shane Williams to Ralph Williams. And maybe Shane Williams should have shot. That was actually uh, Ruba that put the shot. Oh, that was William Ruba. <laughs> big a part. They, from a distance, they are very, very similar and often. You can be forgiven just for mistaking. Yeah, Sons are doing a great work in breaking into the key of the stars. And the Suns have taken the lead if that basket's going to count. No, it won't count. It was a three second violation. So we locked at nine apiece and nearly at the end of this first quarter. And what a first quarter it's been. And one suggests that with just a couple of seconds left, that score may well stay locked to end this first quarter. Somebody's going to have to do something very special. It's not going to happen. There's the Hooter. Deadlocked, nine apiece. And the Suns did very well coming out to the Stars there just to stop that shot going up. And there it is, nine apiece. End of the first quarter. The two Williams, the elder statesman on the left of screen and the protege on the right. Rolf and Sean both contributed. Rolf and Shane, they've contributed hugely. No relation. And uh, on the other side, you've also got a Williams, and of course, that's their number five, Justin Williams. Imzeleni. I suspect whoever opens the scoring here will be G'd up and try and take the ball by the horns. Yeah, just took uh, too long over his shot, to, to Justin Williams. So, three second violation. Yeah, he's been involved in those three second violations a few times now. We're just, just dilly dallying over the shot. Rakatseng Moletti. And he can actually guide the chair without uh, touching the wheels and did very well with that basket. He's a seriously yeah. good player. Close See. act. See how he just uh, guides the chair using his body. Oh, what a great little layoff that was. And that deserves to be two points. Yeah, that's what we've seen a lot uh, from um, Zeleni. And when you, when you get those chances, Kevin, and you don't take them, you'll look back at the game and say, what happened? Because that really should have been two points, though. Hard work had been done. All the boxes had been ticked. And then the shot, unfortunately, just not finding its way to its destination. Um, Zeleni was sizing up for a long shot, but uh, the stars, all stars were wise to it. It's a jump ball situation. It'll be possession to... The All-Stars. And good to see the Kolosko All-Stars giving some game time to young Luke Lotto. He's number four. And uh, he'll look back at this one day and remember his first tournament because it's always the big tournament. you out there with the big guys. Ralph Williams to Shane Williams. Williams is going to go for the shot. Shane Williams could have just uh, driven a bus in there. Could have. And one wonders why he didn't. Ayabonga Jim. Oh, what a... What, what a, a just... What how amazing. Slick, how slick can you be that's, and that's, finished off. That's the magic of Mzeleni. That is Mzeleni, the magician. Just look at this for anticipation. Great little pass. 
finished off by Justin Williams. And that is how you play basketball, ladies and gentlemen. And for those ladies and gentlemen who are and who may have just joined us, remember this is coming to you live. It is the 2020 Supersport Wheelchair Basketball Series. Very condensed due to the pandemic, but the game will go on. Four teams playing, and this is still the round robin stages. So all to play for for all four of those teams. And Delaney's shot not going down. They tied it up. Wow. By I, I Jim. Jim, yeah. New leaders. The Suns lead for the first time in this game. They were trailing by a substantial amount, but they've clawed their way back and they are perhaps one could say late risers. I'm sure uh, you see what I did there. Shot checked. But uh, Moletti. Moletti. All the all stars. Holding on to the ball. He's waiting for the backup. The backup has arrived. And just a bit of indecisive play there from the all stars. Not really knowing what they wanted to do. And the ball had to go up. So they perhaps were just victims of too much messing around with the ball there Kevin and, and nobody really knew who to pass to at the end they got themselves all bunched up had to put the ball up and the chances of it dropping from there were very remote yeah certainly and uh, once they were set for the for the shot uh, there was a son's hand in the in the mix and just messed up their whole plan I bonger Jim Williams just unable to hold it, so Maletti is taken. It's Lotta for the All Stars. Shane Williams. There's always going to be a foul there, putting up the hook shot. Yeah, Williams. Missed the two-pointer, but he'll get the two free shots. And he knew exactly what he was doing. Smart play. Yes. First shot, uh, great uh, from uh, Shane Williams, but the uh, guilty party there on the sun side was in Zaba. Just so crystal clear there that that ball was going all the way down the throat to the basket from the time it left his wrist the Suns moving the ball really well at the stage wow what about that for basketball that no, must be the basket of the game so far fantastic everybody involved yeah get that ball moving around Just a quick look at this again, flashing that ball straight into the key and a fabulous finish. We have a game on our hands. Shane Williams with the uh, long shot. The Sun, Suns have picked up their defence as well. So Moletti not able to claw back. And here is an opportunity now, which could be a very good psychological opportunity for the Buffalo City Metro Suns, if they can just sneak another basket now and go four points clear and then play basket for basket at least until the halftime break. That's what the doctor would have ordered. Right. Looks like uh, maletti has been uh, pulled up for uh, reversing. Yeah, it has. Was him. So it'll be two free shots because he was putting up the shot at the time it was Justin Williams first one gone a begging it's a great view of that shot again unfortunately they're just scooping the side of the basket and here come the Kalaska All-Stars. Yeah, 
always going backwards. It's always a difficult shot to to take. Yeah, you got to you got to readjust your your power behind the shot because you're actually moving away from the basket. Wow, Ayabonga Jim doing really well to keep the ball in play and just pivoting. Yeah. Had to, doing all the stuff. Had to put the shot up because the seconds were ticking away. And that was Luke Lotto who actually caught that rebound, flicked it off very quickly. I think the uh, official there called it a bit uh, too soon. Oh, maybe he's had, had a hand on. Okay. So it becomes a jump ball situation, possession to the Suns, to the Buffalo City Metro Suns. Zelani thinking about should he or should he not take that long shot again? Shot's been taken from the side. And oh, was just, a, just a bit too uh, far for uh, Justin Williams. It's a big attempt from Yalezo to keep the ball in play, but he was unable to do that. Shane Williams, oh, sold down the river. Yeah. One-way ticket. Yeah, got to control your chair. So that's a foul immediately on Odinga Madingi. Odinga Madingi, he got the ticket. Let's take another quick look at this and bang. Yeah, no gap there. And Ayabonga Jim was enjoying it. He loved it, absolutely loved it. Nothing like a good collision on a Saturday morning. Zeleni feeding it into the very cluttered key. So not much has happened in terms of scoring action in the last couple of minutes, but uh, it's certainly all action on the court here in the 2020 Supersport Wheelchair Basketball Series. And of course, we're playing here at the Vodacom Mandeville Indoor Center. Uh, screenshots not going down. They're not going down. Former dinghy. Substitute happening on the All Star side. Moletti has come off. And during that substitution, Jim Zeleni, just a quick word with Ayabonga, Jim. Here come the Colossal Coal Stars just putting a raid now on that basket. Doing quite well to almost steal the ball, but uh, the Suns have come away with it. Yeah, Shlemby did very well uh, to pick it up, but it was just taken back. Always looking is uh, Mzeleni, and on that occasion, he really did the right thing. And unfortunately, his teammate just not able to finish off the move. Foul on uh, Shane Williams. You see uh, Justin Williams just uh, driving into him. Always going to be a foul. Got to be ahead of the man before you can cut him off. Can't just drive into the side of his chair. Two and a half minutes left in this first half it's still anybody's game that's without any shadow of a doubt there's only one point separating the sides and that at the moment is in favor of the Suns well make that even Stevens we're all level yeah Ruba's shot was very flat but uh, two points all the same we've seen flatter but uh, he certainly had everything in control there William Ruba I remember many years ago presenting him with his first wheelchair. My memory serves me well. He was seen playing on a dusty court somewhere in Alex in a shopping trolley to boot. Somebody was pushing him around and uh, 
in the day. It was Gestetner who came on board. I remember it very well. And good to see William Ruber years later playing at the top level and playing very good basketball. Flat. Now River doing well just to protect, protect the ball so that they get possession. So we locked at 15 apiece just on just under two minutes left. And it is the All-Stars trying to take the ascendancy again. Long shot goes up. Too many shots being missed by both of these sides. Here is an opportunity. Zeleni with his familiar little layup and he can't even do the business. So there's obviously a hoodoo, a jinx out there at the moment. Is it lack of practice? Yeah, because he normally puts those away very easily. Shane Williams. Also not converting. Ayabonga Jim. Doing all the hard work, Ayabonga Jim. Just trying to penetrate a very cluttered zone. Not being able to get through. And we stay locked at 15 points apiece with less than a minute to go. Who can take the ascendancy into the break? I think both sides seem to be feeling the pressure here, Andy. They definitely are. And there's very good play from both sides, Kevin. The only... Just the finishing. Yeah, that's exactly. You took the words out of my mouth. It's simply the finishing. But that one has dropped. And that was Mzellini again, the little general. So, literally seconds left for the Koloska All-Stars to try and get themselves level pegging. The shot's going to be taken from the side. No change to the scoreline. So here is an opportunity now for the Suns just to hold possession. They've given it away. But on the hooter, but there is the, the buzzer. That is the end of the first half. A very, very close encounter here at the Vodacom Mandeville Indoor Centre in the second encounter being played here on this Saturday. Two more games to come later, but there is the breakdown. It was very, very close. Only two points uh, separating at the Suns over the All-Stars. Net effect is 17-15 at the break. Suns leading. Here is the halftime score here at the Vodacom Mandeville Indoor Center. It is the... Buffalo City Metro Sun 17 over the Kaloska All-Stars 215. So a very, very close game. Just a quick look back at the action in this game. And certainly the Suns came out firing. Some excellent uh, play. And largely driven by the little general. Here are the Kaloska All-Stars. And that was William Ruber just managing to snatch that ball back flicked it through and there were two points for the taking this man Shane Williams he's been in the thick of things not perhaps at his best in terms of shooting but he's doing a lot of work off to his namesake there Ralph Williams reeling back the years Ralph Williams and still able to do it just flicking it in this is William Ruber And one of the great uh, shots from Rakatseng Moleti. Himzeleni, known as Mac to his mates. What a choice he made there. And great work from Justin Williams. Three Williamses on the court. Himzeleni doing the business himself, choosing not to pass that time he was the destroyer in chief as opposed to being the provider Maletti just drove his way down as you like 
popped it in the basket, took two very easy points, made it look so ever simple. Ayabonga Jim. And Ayabonga Jim having a good outing. Very steady player. How about that for a little flick back? Had to be two points. One of the exciting moves of this particular game. Great vision from Mzeleni just shoving it through for somebody else to make merry under the basket. And here's Mzeleni again. Not successful on that occasion. Ball did come back to Ayabonga Jim. Who just popped it down easy as you like. So it's been a very, very tight affair. Himzeleni, this was the basketball, uh, the basket of the game so far. All players involved just zigzagging across the key. And the Suns taking two very valuable points. The Los Cole All-Stars are right in this game though. There's only two points separating the sides. We're not too far away from what promises to be an explosive second half. So the Suns moving the ball really well all around the basket. And probably the more attractive in terms of uh, the game pattern. Half time stats the Suns uh, getting 8 out of 29, 28% shooting average on the two pointers, and the All Stars 6 out of 32, giving a 19%. That's really low for the All Stars. They should be doing way better than that. Fouls a bit of a problem on both sides, but uh, otherwise, uh, the free throws also becoming a bit of a problem. And there we see in the red area there, 1 out of 3 from the Suns. That's not too bad on the three point of uh, the free throws. And three out of six on the All-Stars, but really it's uh, three points. I should be hitting them. And the game leaders, Yalezo, he's uh, the top points scorer for the Suns, and Moletti for the All-Stars. No surprise there. Ayabonga Jim doing a lot of uh, work, supplied by, uh, supported by Mzeleni and Williams. Madengi, Ruber, they're doing all the work really on the court for the All-Stars. Players getting themselves all geared up now for this uh, second half. Kevin, just your thoughts on what would the coaches be saying now? Would, uh, stick with the game plan? Uh, obviously, they have something to say about the shooting, but actual game plan? Yeah, I think they've got to stick to the game plan, especially the Suns. Uh, the Buffalo City Metro Suns, their, their plan's working very, very well. Uh, they, they're upsetting the uh, All-Stars. I think the Kalasco All-Stars, they um, need to just open the game up a bit more and... Uh, and just try and break the break the defense of the, uh, the Suns, but I think I think the Suns have actually rattled the All Stars at the moment. Yes, I couldn't agree with you more. The Suns are playing a very open game, excellent passing, and being very well controlled by Mzeleni. And I think that is a key factor. He's actually got a game plan. He knows where his players are, and he's taking that ball from the top of the key and he's making all the links. Just the shooting. Up. really needs to be up and I think that's one of the key differences between the two teams at the moment you've got him Zeleni who's controlling the whole uh, game from the Suns uh, point of view there's nobody really controlling the game on the All-Stars well we'll know in the not too distant future but the third quarter is underway and first up with possession it is the Kaloska All-Stars Seems to be a problem at the table, maybe points. Somebody's counting, it looks like it could be those points. <laughs> Remember you allowed uh, 14 points on the court, each player is uh, classified. <laughs> yeah, so and this is where there's too many points on the court, obviously for the uh, All-Stars. 
And James Matuetu has actually made this uh, point uh, before. So they had 15 points on the on the court. They only allowed 14. So they have to do a substitute, and the coach gets a technical foul. So there'll be two shots uh, for the Suns, and then possession from the halfway line. Well, that little. The l so the little blunder there could just cost the All-Stars two very valuable points because uh, they're going to get these two free shots, Kevin, and then also get the ball from the halfway line. Yeah, they certainly will, and they can choose who does the shooting, and that's uh, the way to do it. They only get one shot, yeah. Yeah. Two attempts, one possible basket, which he has taken, and the game will now go on. Perhaps not too costly. straight back on the attack the all-stars at sixes and sevens Shane Williams got that one in his face and uh, as I've said before I think it was actually the ball that hit him but uh, basketball is a very heavy item and Shane Williams probably with a bit of blurred vision at the moment chose not to shoot understandably and that basket bobbled around and they'll take those two points We see they are all yeah. right on the <laughs> right on the shoulders, right on yeah. the nose that is uh, that's not pleasant yeah real crowd pleaser of a basket completely accidental but Shane Williams might come out with a bit of a bruised conquer and this is just great play from the yeah, all -stars. excellent interplay that uh, had to end up with a basket yeah, some of these, Kevin, you tend to get yourself so worked up because it looks like it's a basket in the making. Everything has happened so well. And then yeah, the yeah. finish isn't great. But one must really recognize that these players haven't had the chance in the season. They've obviously been very restricted on practice. They've been a part as a team. So just great that they can still play the tournament. Wow. Just losing his balance there. I don't see that that's a foul because I don't think Shane Williams actually touched him. He just uh, lost his balance. But it got called a foul on Shane Williams. Imzelani, he's going to go for the shot. Still not consistent enough. <laughs> you don't get. You don't get more than teased more than that. Ball sat up for about three seconds on the ring and then just made his mind up and said, nah, no not, change. Not today. Zeleni pushing it wide. It's Shane Williams going to take the shot. He oh, knew as soon as, uh, soon as he left his hand, he knew yes. he was off. It was actually William, William Ruber got the sevens mixed up. But a good finish from Shane Williams. Fabulous shooting uh, from Shane Williams. A good shooting action. If you can just harness that now, get some consistency. But the All-Stars have, in fact, taken the lead. Yeah, held for the 24 seconds with the Suns by the All-Stars defense. So great work from the All-Stars. The last goal All-Stars then coming into their own here against the Buffalo City Metro Suns. Somebody's got to take this game by the scruff of the neck and it looks to be Shane Williams who's doing that right at the moment. Yeah, it looks like that whack on the nose uh, got everything aligned. And, and it's just that limp wrist straight in line with the... Uh, the elbow, direction's good, and the rest will happen. 
So Kalosko, all stars now, tails up. And a great opportunity to stretch that lead. Yeah, the Kalosko all stars now seem to be just a little bit more uh, organized. Williams Delaney. definitely wasn't set for that shot. A little hasty, perhaps, just uh, came off the bottom of the hand. A screen set. Just not uh, pulling it off. Great Im vision from Imzeleni there to try and set the play. And uh, there was an opportunity just for a little bit of deacceleration. Uh, Imzeleni just seems to know where everybody is on the court, all his players. It is still very, very tight. Though only three points in this, literally one basket can just square that off. All stars moving the ball around the court and take that, sports lovers, easy as you like. And that is what this uh, number 13 with a great pedigree. He can just do that all day long when he's on song. That's Mazibuko. Well, immediate reply. And the Suns can just breathe a little easier. Mongomeli Wana. Hardly a convincing basket, but they'll take the two points. Now that shot uh, checked. Gives the Suns uh, possession. Just a bit scrappy. They need and to get it very over the line. The Suns is... It's very unusual to see four of them in a huddle, and they've, as a result, they've actually just given it away. Yeah, he had to just drop it over because it's, the oh, eight, eight yeah. seconds were elapsing. It was a very, very valiant attempt to keep the ball in play. Mongomeli Wana doing his very best. That ball had just come off the front of... Yeah, just trying to get it back and... Didn't quite manage and uh, took a bit of a tumble. And so the uh, Buffalo City Metro Suns have uh, called a timeout. In England, I don't know. I'm going to buy a shoot. The gentleman was a shoot, Yam Tibella, guys, of Megas and Ben. Mbamba Wood. That's the only thing of Nagazi. The offense, guys. I call it Burrasha, which you buy legs and coach. Most of the times I coach. You just stop your chair up by the game for shooting the Gabu or one door. You know, like I said, I'm going to say, 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 Okay, these guys focus 25 points, not only 23. 25 points. Williams with the first shot after the timeout and again just not able to do it well lots of attention being paid on Mzleni did the right thing pushed it right back they've got time start the move all over again yeah just uh, Shane Williams hooking the hooking the chair of uh, Ayabonga Jim that's an immediate foul Still 14 seconds to get that shot up. Looks like Imzeleni might just be setting himself up. Pushed it across to Ayabonga Jim. Jim has taken the long attempt. Jalezo just uh, doing very well to get into the, the key. And was, and, was, and was fouled in the process. 
So he'll have two free shots. Yeah, missed everything this time. Need to correct. Big time, but not able to do it. And then possession. Yeah, ball hit out of uh, Mongomeli Wana's hands by uh, Mazibuko. So still possession to the uh, Suns. Quick substitute happening for the All Stars. So the Suns are going to have to do something quite smartly here because the scoring rate has dropped off quite dramatically. They're going to need to start securing a couple of points. They've had too many shots, and uh, when you saw the stats at the break, their percentage is way down, and uh, at this level of basketball, it really needs to be upped. Because you can sit all day, Kevin, and take those shots. If they're not dropping, it means zip. That's exactly it. So it can be as flash as you want. You still got to get the points. Ongmeliwana getting uh, a bit upset there by the player holding him. And quite rightly so. So quite scrappy here at the moment. This is probably the scrappiest portion of the game that we've seen. And this is actually normally followed by somebody taking the game by the scruff of the neck, as they say, because somebody's going to have to work out the opposition's tactics and counter them. Yeah, Panic is setting in just a little bit with the Suns. They had excellent passing in the first half. And it's getting just a little bit wild right now. It's been a while since we've seen a basket. Can Shane Williams do something about that? Pushing the ball out to the right. Yeah, and just again. not uh, getting it down. But uh, also, I was keeping possession though. Was Langeland taking a shot? Yeah, fouled in the process, so he'll have two free shots. Can he break the drought? Because there has been a bit of a drought. It's been a while. Mongomeli Wana, the man who uh, committed the foul. Well, there you go. Free shot taken. Not the perfect shooting action, one might think, but uh, it worked for him, and they'll take the point either which way. Yep, picked up his own, uh, own rebound. And surely this will be two off the glass. Oh, dear. Yes, a lot of attention. This will be two off the glass. <laughs> Must be. <laughs> Finally, if you just keep believing... And that was uh, Shane Williams. Shane Williams just cleaning up. So that lead is now stretched to six points. And the Buffalo City Metro Suns have got a lot of work to do. They've just allowed the game plan to actually stutter a bit. And not too much is happening. Yeah, but Imzelani's passing when uh, under pressure like that is, uh, is actually fantastic. So Ruba to put the ball in for the Kalaska All-Stars. The Williams. All-Stars will have their, um, their tails up right now because not too much resistance is coming from the opposition. They're allowed to set their shots up. And finally, somebody does come out to Shane Williams, but he's already kind of broken his way through. Top of the key, Williams, uh, uh, William Ruba, I beg your pardon. And they'll collect it, keep it in play. Start all over again. Williams to Langerman, and Langerman will get two free shots. Yeah, fouled in the process of putting that shot up again. He's just taken, just taken one from two, so he's had a little bit of practice. Contact, a big contact on Elias Langerman.
Wow. I'll well, take that. So, 50% shooting average on both occasions for Langemann. Makes a difference. Seven points now. They are definitely pulling ahead. And the drought continues for the, the Buffalo City Metro Suns, just not able to score the points. They've got to now try and get more mobile, and they've got to start putting in a few layups. Pick up that confidence again. Here is a fast break opportunity. Great passing. Just no finish. Yeah, Ayabonga Jim normally puts those away easily, but uh, not today. Williams being harassed. One shot by Ruba. And, and what the coach from the Colosco All-Stars can take here, Kevin, is they've got quite a strong bench. And they're playing, they've suddenly found a pattern. They're playing well, their shooting has definitely improved. And yeah. no matter what the uh, Suns do, that basket really should have dropped. Yeah. At least give him half a point for that. It's uh, Monometti acknowledging the foul straight away that he had done. As we just creep into the final minute of this third quarter. Yeah, and the Stars are on uh, collective fouls. Not that it really matters now. Yalezo can still just pull one point back and at this stage all points are just valuable little hook shot well there that was finished off finally something does come off and maybe that drought has now been broken there's still seven points in it and the all-stars will be delighted with a seven point cushion still time to make it nine short shooting by William Ruber ambitious but definitely time for the Buffalo City, City Metro Suns to come back and take at least another two. 20 seconds and counting, and a lot can happen in basketball in 20 seconds. Yeah, fouled on the shot again. It's been a common thing in this uh, match. And uh, this time it was uh, Shalembe. opportunity here to try and drag two more points back into the uh, favor of the Suns so many players just guilty of not giving these free throws enough air good rebound picked up by the Colosco All-Stars and is there time for them somebody's gonna have to do something the ball is up it take a three-point attempt not far away from Shane Williams, but it does end the third quarter, and that quarter definitely belonged to the Colosco All Stars. We'll take a quick look at the breakdown and the confirmation of the score, and there it was 14 points to five. The All Stars taking off the Suns here 29 22 is the score, and one quarter to come. Orders then being given very, very clearly by coach Matuetwe, and he's very good at that. He analyzes the game. Strange to see that he hasn't got his whiteboard with him, Kevin, because normally that is a, a big topic. Yeah, he, he normally has it all, uh, all the diagrams happening all on the his pictures whiteboard. And, and by the time he's finished, and I don't think anybody <laughs> knows what's going on, because there's so many lines on the board. So he, this right now is all about the Colosco All-Stars, it's their game to win. If they can just hold out, and the big problem for the, the team in gold, the Suns, they definitely need to up the ante on the shooting because the shooting is gone. I think they've left it in East London. Probably probably stuck at O.R. Tambo, the 
in unclaimed baggage. Well, that's a very good start. That'll be a bit of a confidence booster. Yeah, because they seemed a bit static uh, with their attack, and then suddenly uh, the little man uh, drove into the key and uh, scored the basket. So it's pulled them back within five. And an opportunity now to pull themselves right back in because they've taken a rebound from a stray shot. It didn't go down. Macklin Zeleni just pushing it off, and that should have been those two points, really. That really should have Co been the two points. Coach Matretto is going to be a bit angry here because his instruction was to go into a half-court press, and if there was a layup, go in a full-court press, and they did ni neither of those. The All Stars. Wow, talk about just so close, but no cigar. Okay, now they have. Nobody more than Mac Mussolini will know that they've got to find the way to the basket and make the baskets count. Yeah. Not even he can do that. Yeah, that one went down, so Zeleni just uh, maybe giving his troops a bit of inspiration. That's what they need. Just as we were saying, perhaps not even he can. He just came through and showed what a valuable player. Huge asset to the side. But there's two points straight back for the All-Stars. Now Dinga Madingi. to know and I think that's gonna and Delaney picked it up wow that was a bit of luck found its way back to the player and can they end it up with two points uh, and Delaney's hook shot uh, just not coming off so the all-stars are doing well now because they're spreading the game players aren't punching there's a man available seen by Shane Williams Also starting to uh, work very well together, but there's the uh, 24 seconds up, so no shot uh, given. It's a very good defense from the uh, Buffalo City Metro Suns. It was excellent defense, and the one thing that the All-Stars will probably tell you that what they did get out of that was they lost 30 seconds somewhere along the line in the game, and they still are holding a five-point swing, so they'll be quite happy with that. But can the Suns come back with a powerhouse display of shooting? Just a wayward pass there. The Suns don't need that. Saw so one of the All Stars holding out one of the weaker players for the Suns. So it'll be a five on four. Uh, Mandingi just not a, not with his uh, doesn't have his shooting arm with him today. Very good interception because that uh, had all the makings of a layup that was about to happen for the Suns, but the All Stars just getting in the way. So a lot of clock time being taken away, and that clock time that's being taken away is in favour right now of the uh, All Stars because they have the lead. And if they can just cling on, they'll be delighted. But here's two points on offer and two points not taken. Yeah, but stolen. That's two points on offer, and that's two points taken. And that's Nene. So Buffalo City Metro Wings now back within three. Now, excellent move here by Nene. Just uh, picked it up and finished off for the Suns. Well, that for all money looked as if it was going to just come straight out the bottom of the hoop, but it bobbled around and... I don't think I've ever seen so many shots just missed. Why not from the top of the key? Yeah, he's put a lot of other shots in, so why not? Maybe a bridge too far there. Oh dear, that should have been two points. Yeah, just it was so well worked. Just can't get it down. 
Well, he's taken it back, and he's going to have another go at it. So, oh, how about that for good vision? Oh, great basket. Nene is doing all the work for the Suns. Great pass with an overlap. And Kevin, that's a fine example of the classification system, which is basically everybody gets a fair crack. So you get a player like that who comes on the court, the taller players and the bigger players are kind of just ignoring him, and guess what happens? Three baskets on the trot, and the, uh, the Suns are right back in this game. Timeout. We're lucky they missed the one shot, could have been six points. Right, we're not pressing anymore. Okay, we're not. So sitting from here, you can see the commitment from the players, others that are not pushing. It's only three players that are playing, are pushing hard. The other two, casual. So we're not pressing high here. Otherwise, we're giving away easy baskets. Okay? Everything goes back there. Defense must work from there. Push yourself back on the defense. Don't force the pass if you don't see anyone open. Keep the ball. Otherwise, to we'll avoid turnovers. All right. Good. Let's go. Yeah, so coach uh, James Tetra. Very clear with his instructions and, uh, and his observation of what the men were or were not doing. Well, it could still be a scrap and nobody better to find yourself in a scrap than Ralph Williams. He's on the court, loads and many, many years of experience. William Ruber to Shane Williams. Shane Williams. Popping it in and was that perhaps three seconds? I think it was. Yeah, it looked like it was. Yeah, just uh, one pass too far in the key there for the uh, All-Stars. So it's been a little bit of a slack period for the Suns, but they trail now by one point. If they can find the basket, we have a serious match. to follow because it's only one point in it and uh, one suspects if they can just find that you'll see the gear levers switch on both sides yeah, and both sides really have the capacity to really open the game up in the last uh, just four and a bit minutes it's been very cagey at the moment from both sides no, nobody's opening it up there's no fast breaks happening and maybe it's the heat on the court it is quite warm I just think it's uh, they're very uh, both sides very tense. Just jinxed his way around there. But, uh, perhaps three pushes. Uh, it was a foul by uh, Ralph Williams, way off the ball and off screen. It'll be put in for the. Uh, Buffalo City Metro Suns. So well seen there by the match officials. Got to have eyes in the back of your head, as they say. How important is this shot? How important is that basket? How important is that, that basket? That must Just be the shot. That must be the shot of the tournament so yes, far. Yes, without a doubt. Just take your time. Take your time. There you go. And he'll tell you he's winding the clock down. As he took the shot. Well, that is just fabulous balance. And uh, that's how you control a wheelchair. Suns looking now to try and extend the lead that they've just stolen and playing very good basketball, moving it around the court. But they've just got to make the shots count because the All-Stars are not going to surrender. Not that easy, and this man probably two points. You want to put your money in your house on Shane Williams finishing that off, but uh, coming a little bit short. Bit of an overlap here for the Suns. Just players not giving the ball enough height. 
There it is. Monomeli Wana. Just putting them ahead. So suddenly from a seven point difference, we now have new leaders and they lead by three. And there's just on three minutes left in this very exciting encounter here. And this being the fourth game of the ten games that you will be seeing. Oh dear. Yeah, just tripped over the ball. Among the belly could, could have given an opportunity there. Surely. Oh dear. I don't know how many times I've said oh dear because that was just something I would never have expected. No pressure, all alone, and here's that deadly little number 13. Told you he's deadly, and all number 13s are. I think that was my number when I played. Looks like that basket may not have counted. And a timeout has been called by the All Stars. What's the score? What's the score? Guys, check out, check out. If we see a bomb as a valley again, that's a minute 24 seconds. If it's a valley again, we just try to, if we block, but if we open, which, like it's the first break, we open up, we relax. Easy throws. Well, Kevin, that looked uh, more like the Buffalo City Metro Suns coach just giving them a little bit of a break, giving them a bit of water and letting them just settle. I'm not sure if they were smart because they had a bit of momentum going. So either the, the tactic was to break the momentum that the uh, All-Stars had or just to have a little bit of a break and, and maybe that last bit of energy into these last uh, two minutes. Yeah, but I think uh, he was also just uh, wanting them to use up the time. Use their 24 seconds. Just not working for the All-Stars. And it definitely wasn't working earlier for the Suns because their shooting average, as we've already discussed, was particularly low. So number 13 not able to do the balancing act on the wheel. Yeah, but it's very, very good to uh, get rid of the ball yeah. into one of his own players as he was going over. He's playing with a huge heart. He's a one and a half pointer. And uh, Sonwabo Nene, for me, has been the guy that's actually brought the Suns back into this game. And there he is taking a spill. Yeah. Not easy. He's got very little balance. Yeah, I'm just flicking the ball out to Mongomeli Wana before he hit the deck. So what's important here for the... Buffalo City Metro Suns is that the clock has lost another 20 seconds odd. And at any point in time, don't be surprised if we start seeing a couple of three-point efforts, particularly raining in from the All-Stars, because that's all they need to draw level, and that would take us into extra time. Yeah, guilty of uh, not watching the clock. And... Uh, not seeing that the 24 seconds had elapsed. In fairness to the player, there seems to be a little bit of a problem with the shot clocks. The clocks in stadium are off. They need to be reignited or something. Yeah, yeah that, that would be a problem. So the Suns back in control. Suns with a put in from the back line. And they'll just use up the time now, they should do. Yeah, this is when you need to play really smart basketball. Move the ball around, watch the time. 
before the shot goes up. And when the shot goes up, try and make sure that it goes down. Not that you wouldn't normally do that, but uh, just take that little bit of extra care. And this is now really for the Suns to lose because they're on the attack, set the play. One would think one more basket and it's over. The trick is to find that one more basket. Yeah, but good passing from the Suns, but just uh, not converting. We're going to see a three-point attempt here without any shadow of a doubt. It's so close. And right now, no, the Suns basically have to do is hold on to the ball. I'll have to get it over the halfway line first. The timeout has been called. So this will be a very strategic timeout. And the All-Stars coach, he must have a plan. All right, you have one shot available, nothing else. And for me, in six seconds, the way we play, we can only go for the three points, nothing else. All right, three pointer, which is going to be yours. Okay, so what you're going to do, Shane, the ball comes from that side. Okay, the ball is going to come from the stay opposite here. Yeah? Okay, um, Tuska, don't go in, set, set, set up on top of the key. Shane is going to hide behind you, ne? so that you come straight to Shane, you release him, he goes like this, he catches the ball, he, shoot, he releases the shot. You understand? Yes, get right from the front. Eh? That's a high spot there. Don't come here. Get right from the top. That's a high spot. A three point on top in front of the basket. Yeah. Yes. Stand here. Stand here. Tuska releases you like this. Okay. Yeah, right there. Stop right there. Go high. Go out. So let's see if uh, Coach Matretwe's plan comes to fruition. Well, he certainly laid it out. And here it is. Bingo! I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah. And that so it's been in, looks been, to been, be... Been indicated as a three-pointer, so there we go. It's a three points, and that's the end of the quarter. Fabulous to see this. Just the one back wheel actually crossed the line. So it actually shouldn't have been allowed, but they have, but they have called it. Well, has that been allowed? It has not been allowed. It has been deducted and the score is back to 34-33. And it looks as if, looking at the main scoreboard from our position, will be a very, very tight call. So the match official still very uncertain. So pass, Kevin, pass your expert again. opinion. Yeah, the front, front wheels, wheels can be. The front wheels can be over the line, your back wheels cannot. And there you'll see is one wheel, one rear wheel goes over. Don't know whether he's just released the ball. Maybe. Now, if you were a Liverpool fan, you would have seen this last week. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very, very tight call. It's been given. It's 34. It's 34 points back on the scoreboard, and it's been given. And unfortunately, these officials do not have the benefit of technology. So we go into some extra time now. Well, nobody really knows what's going on here at the moment. Yeah, so level scores, we will have uh, extra time. So 
we'll have a we'll have a small break. It's going to be five minutes as a quick break for these players, and then they'll come back. And perhaps the All-Stars, very lucky, but Kevin, one really has to applaud the coach because this is exactly, exactly the instruction. It is very marginal. It's very, very close. Because that, because that ball has to, have, has to have left his hand before his his rear wheel went went over the line here. Very lucky, very lucky to have been yeah. given that basket. Yeah, I think uh, very, very marginal. But uh, as soon as that wheel touches the line. The ball has to have left his hand. It will be very interesting to hear what the uh, coach of the Suns has to say, particularly if they go on now in these next five minutes to lose this game. These things do happen. And maybe justice had been done because the the all-stars had played their hearts out sons had come back all-stars had taken the lead sons came back so a reflection of the game and it's the all-stars now who do take that lead that's mazibuko put that basket in for the all-stars so if you are watching it's not that often that games go into extra time so all pressure on both of these teams now and that last gasp basket taken by shane williams yeah justin williams they're just taking too long over the shot it was a three second violation Another basket uh, coming in for the uh, All Stars. Yeah, suddenly the, suddenly the, suddenly the All Stars have got their chests puffed out, and they realise just the break that they've been given. Because perhaps in their own hearts, although it would have been very hard for anybody to see, that'll be a foul called and two shots to come. The Suns simply have to score these two points to stay in this game. Yeah, they certainly do. And I think they're going to have to start uh, doing some maybe uh, three-point attempts. Yeah, they certainly are. But how good was that to see, Kevin, the, the instructions from the coach resulting in the play exactly as he called it. The ball will come in from that side of the court. I want you at the top of the key. I want you to take those three points, and I want you to pocket them. And that's exactly what Shane Williams did. Yeah, and Shane Williams was to sit behind a player, and he came out and did exactly what Coach Matetra said. Well, how important are those two? Just how important pressure, huge pressure, but two for uh, two from two, and game on. Ambitious pass. There's a substitute happening for the Suns. And Nene has got off. One must applaud. Sibonelli, I beg your pardon. Uh, Sonwaba uh, Nene. Sonwaba Nene. One must just say that he really kept the Suns in this game. Those quick little baskets. A very, very underestimated player. Now Shane Williams having to force that shot because of the time uh, ticking away. So here come the Suns. Ayabonga Jim. Well, now we are level pegging again. The Suns are right back in the stint here. Well, we're going to more extra time. Still three minutes and counting. Well, 
Th there was a very well drawn foul. Great yeah, play. Always going to be a foul in that situation. It was Monometti playing some thinking basketball. And it's indeed Monometti who goes to the line. Yeah, and a substitute happening for the All Stars as well. Moletti coming on, Shane Williams going off. He needs to sink this one. And does sink the one, so we have one point in it. One point in it in favor of the Kaloska All Stars. No panic yet on this man's face. Not his greatest oh, pass. Good intercept. Opportunity, big opportunity here to seal the deal. I think we yes. said that before. So. But it's, saying cool, calm and collected was Mazibuko. It's never done until that final whistle. But right now, it's gone the way of the All-Stars. There's the three-point attempt we were talking about. I don't think they've got an option now. I think you can have to see them literally raining them down. And Yeah, that's got to be a foul. Maletti doing very well to hold on to that ball. He just literally held on and watched all the action around him. Yeah, no, he got spun around as well. Looked like a little move from Strictly come dancing. But he was able to hang on. And that's now the turn of the All-Stars to just play the clock. There's time, there's plenty of time. The pressure though on the defense from the all-stars on the suns is huge right now suns all uh, cramped up in the middle here though or bunched up in the middle it's uh, not a good uh, position to be in for them and substitutes happening on the sun side again three point attempt Inzellini with it attempt and how he needed that but he has a chance for two and there is two so one point in it again just overshooting so here is an opportunity for the Suns now to steal it at the death. If they can take a two-pointer. If they could take this two-pointer, and guess what? They've done exactly that. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Are we going to have yet a repeat? There is plenty of time, but look at this under pressure. Zaba. Where have you been it. with those little layups? Yes, the hero of the day so far. Not this time. And surely this time the Suns will hold on to that ball for dear life. Well, they just got to get it over the halfway line, which they've done. And now they can just play time. And Imzelini doing ever so well, holding on to the ball, pushing it out. And look at this for a great way to end a basketball match. If they can just pull off those two points, which unfortunately they can't, is there time now as we get into the last dying seconds? Literally five seconds left. And are we going to see a repeat? Well, we're having a timeout by the uh, Koloska All-Stars. Which they are quite entitled to do, and I suggest we may hear exactly the same conversation. Except this time, you only need two points. It's on for me. It's on for you. It's on for you. The rest stay. The rest stay. Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah. Good. All right, listen. Okay. Hey, leave them, they won't see, they won't see. I need to talk. I need to talk to you. Come here, they won't see it. That's not necessarily three points what you need, it's two points. 
you go to the easiest basket now, okay? The ball is going to come from there. All right, it's the same thing. Tuska, Tuska is the same thing. He sits here, opposite side of the ball. Come release him, he gets to the top. We're looking for the shot. In the meantime, in the meantime, Rakets break inside. In the meantime, Rakets break inside. Five seconds is a lot of time. He doesn't get the shot, he finds you inside. There you are. Right. So let's see if uh, Coach Matreta's plan uh, works this time with his players. So five seconds in counting. What is the plan? Will it work a second time? It looks like a foul has been called and there's two shots to come. Yeah, it is a foul. Well, all he's got to do, all he's got to do is sink both of these. And if anybody can do it, it's this man on screen right now, Shane Williams. Uh, but it, if he at least sinks one, we guaranteed extra time. We go again. Taking the first. Deadlocked again, 42 apiece. Imagine the huge pressure on Shane Williams. But he's a very calm. This is for the win. Well, it looks like we're going to have another short break and then another five minutes one wonders if they shouldn't in this heat and uh, with this kind of pressure just bring in almost a super over kevin maybe they should just have five shots from the key wait for the ref to give Mokwasi the ball that's when you apply the, the screen okay you start you start the movement early you're inviting enemies you're not going to get a shot all right by the time the ref gives the ball to Mokwako, only then i mean to Mokwasi, only then you set the pick for him to open and shoot. All right, come on, guys. Okay, you got two seconds now. Listen, you got two seconds to hit another shot. So it's up to you if you want to win. We got two shooters inside here. We got two shooters, you and him. So whether it's criminal, Sarah Louis Pinde, whether it's a Raja, when you come to the key, close to the key here, Zakele takes you out. Makwasi will have two options it's whether Shane or you for the shot. All right, so Makwasi. Makwasi, look, look high and low, high and low. You'll have a double, P, a double screen happening here. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So the excitement continues. The whistle had, the, the final hoot had not gone. There's still 2.3 seconds left. There's still a chance. Otherwise, we go into another set of extra time. Teams locked at 42 apiece. And are we going to see a repeat of the heroics? This is going to be very quick. Was, that, that was never going to happen in two seconds. Yeah, Moletti had to take that shot. <laughs> Let's cross over to the Suns to hear what their plan is going to be now to see if they can still win this game because it's there for the taking. And this is a case of who wants it more. Well, the Suns coach looks more exhausted <laughs> than the team. What? Well, not much to hear on the sun side, so back to the no, All Stars. The problem is, I told you, on a on a five foot four, don't sit square like this. It's not going to help you. Okay, set up a diamond like this. Set up a diamond like this. It's one man high, one at the back, two sides, two guys on the side. Okay, simple, and they won't reach to the paint. Okay, right, let's go. Okay, 
Defense of country. One, two, three. Defense! Come on, guys, let's do this one. Tomaletti is going to be putting the ball in from the side for, for the Kalaska All-Stars. Surely there's got to be a point in time where you've got to go into sudden death or something because these players will be exhausted after this. And in the not-too-distant future, Kevin, there's one of these teams that's going to be out again playing in the next match. Great shot there coming from uh, Shane Williams. So he's put the Glasgow All Stars ahead. So the Suns just need to get this bastard down. They're working the, the moves uh, well enough. Just not putting it down. Now the All-Stars go on attack. They've got an overlap. Oh, just a wayward pass from Shane Williams. So unfortunate there, because that was on. The move was on. I think it just comes down to which of these two teams and the players can take the pressure. That's what it's going to be. And most of all, the accuracy. Great basketball. Deserves, deserves to be two points. Fabulous basketball. Well worked. And, and very static defense. Yaleza, from the All-Stars. Yaleza is uh, showing his worth in this match so far. William Ruba. Oh, almost accepted. Nearly came off. Very smart play. Just a little bit more air, and that ball would have dropped for a very well worked basket. But yeah, of the Suns, Imzeleni, he's not given up, he never does. Yeah, three second violation. Doing too much with the ball in the key. Having a substitute on the All-Star side. Ralph Williams coming on. So Williams, he's certainly held his head high in this game. Kept them in the game. So be it by the so-called fickle finger of fate, that wheel that might just have been over the line, marginal. He'll say, oh, I was definitely behind the line, I'm sure. Very well worked. Neat Lovely basket. basket, very nice. Neat basket from Maletti. Mzeleni carrying for the Suns. They won't give up. And that you can bet your bottom dollar, they don't give up this fasty team. From the Buffer City, that could cost them big time though because this man on the fast break and he's done the right thing controlled his chair yeah Maletti was just uh, just a bit too far for him to turn and uh, do a layup but it looks like a foul has been uh, committed on the hook shot so maybe yeah it's actually been called an unsportsmanlike foul desperate uh, so there'll be two shots and then possession from the halfway line for so, the Stars. And it's Ruba. Takes a deep breath, thinks about it, and William Ruba not able to convert, but all is not lost because they're going to get the ball from the sideline in that that was an unsportsmanlike foul. So they can regroup and start all over again. 
Ralph Williams. Shane Williams. Now somebody's committed a foul. Yeah, and I, it looked to be it. That was an All-Stars uh, player. It was William Ruber who basically barging on the Suns players, trying to hold that defense, hold the line, hoping that the match official might not see it. And look at this very strong defense now from the All-Stars. The Lasko All-Stars holding out on that defense. Players now stretching every little bit of their fitness. The ball has been stolen by the Suns. Here come the Suns. And this should be two points. Missed it. That is... Oh, Kevin Lee. Well, maybe they don't deserve to win it with this shooting display. Abysmal. Five attempts right under the basket. And look who come away with it. Mzellani had a very, very clever pass with that uh, before all those shots went up. He should Surely have spun the ball off. Players, all the tall players were under the basket. No pressure. Now they're just going to use the time up. And so they should. Here's another chance for the Suns. Well, is, is this going to be it? Yes, it is. We level picking again. So Moletti carrying for the All Stars. So this is really boiling down to now who has got the patience and who can play the quality basketball because this is the end of almost the end of the second timeout. Uh, the second extra time and it just seems that nobody wants it more than anybody else i've got two seconds left of the all-stars so i just had a substitute on the all-stars so it's going to be have to be an immediate shot Not a catch it first. Ball, so Play on, play on. That really was the Suns players all, almost dozing off there, Kevin, because that Luto was simply the 30-second clock. Yeah, and then it often goes off when it's uh, borderline. But uh, Shane Williams uh, just uh, committing an unsportsmanlike foul. So it'll be two shots. And... Uh, I think uh, Shane Williams is off with five fouls. So he takes no further part in this game. And you see, just grab him, just uh, touches him. Under he the had, circumstances. Just, just had to do it. He had, temptation was there, he had no choice just to try. But what has happened now is uh, given a big opening to the Suns. There's only 11 seconds left in this second period of extra time. So it's a very quiet uh, timeout that we're seeing on the side, Joe Kevin, this is, this is a do or die because either one of these free shots go in and then you've got to defend for your life. Can guarantee Zeleni's got a plan and he'll work it. But free shots uh, got to come and then they'll have uh, possession from the side. Monga Meliwana. Have you ever been under this kind of pressure? Because you need to improve on those stats. You've got to get at least one of these two. Wow. Clean as you like. Coach Kamba is so effectively clearly happy. Whatever happens here. Two from two. Under that kind of pressure. And now get they get the ball from the offline. 
No, they get the ball from the side and they can just uh, use up the use up the time. Because there's still 11 uh, seconds on the shot clock, so that's plenty of time. They just got to hold this ball now. Got to get it into play. No. So I don't know what that was all about, but uh, they should have just sat there and bounced it. That really was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen on a basketball court. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. I am shell shocked. Extraordinary. Three pointer needed now. And that is finally the final hooter. After a moment where it was jaw dropping. Literally, the Suns giving that ball away, not quite knowing what it was all about. And the Suns have absolutely prevailed here by two points. And isn't that just great to see? There is the handshakes all around. And that is the final score. Finally, 48-46 after two periods of extra time, the Metro City Suns have prevailed over the Kalaska All-Stars by literally a basket. A breathtaking basket. And these are the results from today, the earlier game. It was the Eagles over the Mavericks, 59-30. And this particular game, the Suns just sneaking in, 48-46. A lot of hard work from both the teams, particularly in that second game. So the next two days, uh, next two games will be delayed. Today it'll be the Eagles and the All-Stars, they're coming up next, and the Mavericks and the Suns. And uh, we will see you in due course.